Right, ladies and gents, a um, bit milled and all. Wind's finally, well, I just opened my gob and I. <laughs> been a bit windy, so I haven't done much filming. It's a Saturday, been here since the Friday. Oh, no time for filming. Got to get around all the poncho cells. Some be right little bargains here. So I'll just do a short little film. Got more than enough lads here to make it definitely, definitely worthwhile. Uh, you know, even got um, Ollie from our house. Turned up there with a load of kit you needed to get shot on very uh, mates rates and all that. So that's for uh, a lot of stuff he's been using on the show, not in the bags but new, and his bosh bosh. Yeah. <coughs> Loaded old wool blankets and that. Lads are grateful of them. Discount, we all love a discount. Ooh. Some of the old setups and that. As we know, he likes the old oldie weldy style and that. And the older uh, Ostents are banging fashion. They're not cheap, but you definitely get what you, you pay for with your Ostents. Davis set up. Sort of batting down for the wind, mate, because you've got the, all your warnings and that down, mate. Yeah, sensible, sir, sensible. Yeah, I did last night. Yeah, that's fair enough, mate. Quite windy, wasn't it? But yeah. There wasn't, there wasn't no wind at all, to be honest, was there? Well, hey, it, if you hadn't have done it, bosh. I oh, know, exactly that. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean? I'm a piss taking to that, but it's good skills, sir. It's good skills. It's your brother's grill on that, mate. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's I love it, it's because you can just move all the poles and, you know, it's just very. It's not his cow, but it's called the cow grill or something. Yeah. It's like originally on the old um, American. Uh, yeah. Put as many arms on it as you want, and the bars just yeah, go across so it's up like a grid. You can either go like just to bring them all like that, yeah. or just put them to one side, yeah. but then you can put things on like jack, uh, Dutch ovens, something just, like the legs and not, you yeah. know, whatever. So Literally, they just move out till you've got a, you know, a grill yeah. all the way. Yeah, yeah. Bosh. Chuck wagon, that's bloody old brain went dead there. But yeah, in the old sort of, you know, frontier era, that's the sort of thing yeah. that's in Used to put these on the ground, you know, dig the lot of fire pit, put this over the top, yeah. and um, yeah. Oh, that's mate. Oldie worldy, mate. But you, you buy one of them, it's going to outlive you. You know, and that's it's just going to be there. There's uh, selling a lot overseas, your brother, and that as well, mate. You know, yeah. yeah. Even the old Japan's and that, yeah. Because yeah. oh. they ain't got no quality, so like we got. <laughs> <laughs> but don't tell a child, you know, Japanese man. I said that, like you know what I mean. There's only little, but most of them are ninjas, isn't they? You know, they've all had a bit of ninja. And they've all got one of them samurai Harry carry swords, yeah. So we don't we don't argue with a child, you know, Japanese man, but well, they will say when you're asleep, they're, they're horrible like that. But the old windbreak, mate, as you say, a lot of people are asking about that, mate, but even to manufacture from new, they're not gonna be cheap, mate, are they? You know? No, no, definitely. MC1's a company in mates that are mechanical. Yes, yeah. yeah, so and they're trying to get it down, so it can be yeah. a bit more affordable with the shipping is the yeah. one that does it. Really. If somebody bought a container load in, Paul, yeah, if they yeah, could yeah. make, you know, that... that yeah, there could well be, yeah, things like that could back, you know what I mean? Yeah. Trevor, so we Yeah. Because, yeah, well, I say this as a compliment, if there's a dollar to be made, Trevor will be bang on it, won't he? Yeah, Because yeah, yeah. yeah, we all got bills to pay, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah too, right. Bosh, mate. And if there's a market for stuff, yeah. well, he's got somebody, Billy Sensible, he's got to get it in the country, you know, a price that we could buy. Oh, speaking of that, we were just talking about you, sir, and you surely appeared. Uh, well, not really, we just, it's not what you've done, it's more like what you're going to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bosh. That's it. What? Did you do the end up? Yeah. Look at all these posh motors. Oh. And what? The rings are definitely on the outside. You can't have the, if you look at the top, you can't have the rings inside. And there's absolutely nothing I can do. Sorry about the wind, I brought it back when I started doing some filming. But that's your reproduction, World War II tent, mate. He's going to flog, you can't flog that, mate. That's a lovely bit of kit, isn't it? No, and you're like you're like the oldie worldie stuff, mate. I mean, there's Ollie from our house, he's your canvas, man. You, 
you, well, you're saying he was going to flog that for 80 quid, mate, but you couldn't buy the material for 80 quid, could you, Ollie? No, no. Well, you are the canvas man, sir. Boss. I'm the You are, you are, no, boss. The cat fits, sir. That's a nice cat. Where are <laughs> We're humbled by your presence. We're not worthy. No, no, but it's great to see you, mate. I haven't seen you for a little while. It's always great to have a catch up. But with this thing, you can set it up like a baker tent and, or just a one side up and that. So I think, I, I love that, I love it when you do it, you bring something on the cell and you set it up and you think, I can't sell that. <laughs> no, bang on it. I can't sell that. But I just love a load of room in there. That's the wrong way round. You've got that one, should come there. Uh, Marty's annoying, but he does know what he's on about. <laughs> Alright, I mean, is this walking? What's for this? It's not, not for, um... And there's loads of stuff, oh, the poncho cells. I've had some right little results here. I just say, Nolly, nice to bring a lot, lot of stuff down that was, you know, used on your shows and all that, mate. And it was, well, out of the bag, sir. Out of the bag, that was like display only. But the, it was very much mates rate, sir. That's what we call that, no. And then, then blankets didn't last long, sir, did they? Oh, bosh. Price to sell, sir, that's what we like, bosh. You needed some instant folding, and you got it, sir. Is that? Yeah. Yeah, it's all really nice, eh? I love the brand on it, brand. Yeah. I've got a lovely uh, canvas tent, but I think David's got his uh, eye on that one. We're going to have a dibble on that one. The mortar fire control tent. So, oh, look, there's an horrible flag over there. Oh, yeah, flag. Usually, what you used to do is you pull the loop through the ring on each one and then you have the loop oh, yeah. over there, Carl over there, go and see him in a minute. Busy beavering away. But the ground's a lot more firmer now. Gosh. There's a little, just behind there's a little copse where we know it, uh, normally go. But with the rain, oh, a bit damp. So up closer to where Steve is. But I'm, I'm liking that, I am liking that. Anyway, ladies and gents, I'll bring you back. There you go, here's uh, Marty Cuff, nice to see him. Uh, got a lovely little bivvy there, it's a proper nice fishing bivvy. I said to him, like, when you die, Marty, can I have that? <laughs> and he told me the fox, not Oscar. <laughs> uh, the professional wipeout. Apparently, that's well sought off in the uh, fishing fraternity, the old carp fishing, because he's had it years, it's like proper. But they've built things to last in them day. Uh, as you were saying, like, he uh, was talked to online and the uh, bloke said, Wolf, well, you got one of them? Blimey, oh, oh. in and run out of range, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said, how much? And he said, I, I told him a silly price. He said, right, I'll come and I'll buy that un sight unseen. Just saying about the old bivvy, mate. What's that, mate? Nice bit of kit, isn't it, sir? Oh, cool, yeah. Can we just get this, when I die, I can have that? <laughs> no, when you... I'm not, not, not recording it. <laughs> no, but we were talking about that and you told me to Fox Oscar, didn't yeah. you? No, some like fishing guy I knew what it was. It does know me nothing, that. Huh? It does know me nothing, that baby. No, but there was some boy, once he realised you had that, he was going to buy it sight unseen, wasn't he? Oh, Christ, yeah, three, yeah. he offered me three, what was it, 390? Yeah. Just on the, no, it's old school, mate, but they don't make them like that no, no more. No, it, it's, it's purposely built for it. Yeah. But they did, they did them for NATO. Yeah. The Norwegian, you know, NATO yeah. thing. But, uh, yeah, but it's a double skin, you don't need condensation. No, no, it is a nice bit of kit, And mate. you can get a full-size bivvy, uh, bivvy bed in there. Yeah, and if they know what they're on about, the old fisher boys like yourself, oh, mate, probably. they'll be like, oh, you're joking, well, you've got one of them. It's a crash zip. Yeah, well. so you can get these, out. These are a crash. Yeah. So you, you just, just get out fast, out and then your rods. Yeah. And it wasn't, they don't ingress on your fishing bit. No. But you've probably got all your chuck box and all that, mate. All of this is self-made. Can't we? We're doing a bit of self all propagating your stuff and that, mate. Bosh. Yeah, it's uh, chuck boxes all and all that. On there. All up there. Because I originally did the plan to my old car, so yeah. it slightly changed in. Yeah. Then I just got a bit of this comes off, flaps down, just to give you a bit of headroom. Yeah, no, nice, mate. It's proper set up, like. It's just a bit of old bit of oak. Hmm. And the straps. I mean, you don't really need these, but. No. It's still there, mate, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, little chuck boxes and the little fire pits there, mate. Bosh, part of that. Yeah, 
so I've got one of them. Dave's got it somewhere oh, in his shed. Tony and have it off, it? Yes, mate, I'll let Tony have it. He'll get use out of it, mate. Yeah. They were, um, so, I, oh, God, his name's just gone. What? The guy that built them. Woody. Woody, yeah, he done me and you one and put your name on the back and my name on the back, mate. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Right. no, it's blinding gazer. My antiques, mate. Yeah, yeah. Kits to have, but like I say, uh, anyway. and you know, it's Marty's flogged a load of gear because he, he was well into making all his leather stuff and that, his knives, and oh, it's all gone. But again, Bosch Poncho shells, we love it, ladies and gents. It's Jeff. Nobody talks to Jeff. No, he's got his little setup there. Tony's got his setup there, but we're put, just saying you're prepped for wind there, so aren't you, Tony? Yeah, yeah you've got your awning down and that, especially around your moat. That's a bit, that's a bit posh. I wish I got a picture of that. That's a bit tasty. So, no, if you're going to do something properly, that's it, mate. Posh. But it's going to be windy. I've got because I always come down here and don't end up filming, mate. I turned up on the foot. Thursday, it's now the Saturday, but you've got t so much time, you know, catching up with people, That's it. you know, banter, cracking. Banter, well, eating. Yeah, fish, <laughs> oh, them fish and chips we had last night and that shot were lovely, mate, bosh, bosh. Are you there again tonight, yeah? No, Al's going to do his uh, Costa Nostra meatballs. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. And once you taste it, I'm not sure you have, mate, That's you know. Before, mate. Yeah, no, uh, oh, top -notch. they are rather top notch, mate. Well, Godfather playing in the background. Yeah, he, he, he done a lot. I was, I, was, you know, I was talking about him working that, and he said, Oh, I'll bring some in. I went, Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. They even they shouted. Didn't they? Oh, they did, mate. Well, I went back to us half a meatball. <laughs> no, John, I, I was on in the afternoon. Yeah, like, and they yeah. went, Well, you've already had them. And, no, they, <laughs> the girls were like, Oh, no, boss, boss, oh, yeah. No, they were nice. Even Mazina's had some of them, and she went, Oh, they were nice. Can you give me the recipe? And yeah. you know, my missus is a bit, you know, like, Oh, nice, mate. Yeah, nice. bosh. And uh, Al has just saying that, you're, although you're just sitting there, mate. But um, yeah, you got your nice new motor, sir, which is something you've always wanted, and you've got it, sir. And uh, a little odds tent there to sort yourself out, mate. And that's a nice bit of gear there, mate. Well, it is, sir. Yeah, especially when I go and sit in there, it stinks of green jackets, doesn't it? <laughs> that's why you're probably all air force here. But um, shovel, this is shovel's uh, tent. It's like, oh well, mate, isn't it? But it's a nice bit of kit. As you say, a pain to get up, but it's meant to go up and stay up like that. Mm. Sort of canvas and that. I mean, it, it, Adam, so it's got a fly sheet on it, and that's nice. I'm doing some filming, mate, as you know. It's, I say I've been here a few days, but if it's windy, it's windy and it don't grow up. If I can get something out of it, I will do that, mate. But bosh. There's a uh, suitably attired. How's new. Uh, Oz tent, which is, I think it's an Oz tent pre. There's his little motor, it's all decked out and that. There's a chuck box. Ladies and gents, I've got a confession to make. Mm, mm. Right, I was just going to come down and use my swag. But as this was drying off, it was like laid out flat on a big table in my garage and I rolled it up and got it ready. And then I got down there and I went, ah, where's my poles? That's one that goes along the top and the two that go down the side. So, I'm proper slumming it. <laughs> Although there's a good little improvisation there of a bungee, a little tent pole, a bachelor pole, four pegs, and I'm in there happy as a little sand boy. Um, rain and wind and all that. But yeah, I, for I forgot my swag poles. <laughs> but yeah, but I say, well, say Eddie, you know what? I wish I could do that. I wish I could do that. Because that's in there, it's off my face. Oh, and uh, there's my sleeping bag in there. Uh, my little tent with my pillow, little thing there, my head over. And that is it, ladies and gents. And I've got more than enough room to crawl in there and have 10 hours kip. It was uh, on the Friday, F-35's taken off, mil mil billion dollar aircraft. The ground was shaking apparently and it didn't wake me up. You know, and that's just, that's just, that's a gift as it goes. That is a gift. Oh, here we go, it's a few bits, that used to belong to Marty. Um, obviously, um, Al's just bought himself a spider car off one of the lads, very nice. And that was either handmade by Marty or Dean. Bosh, but anyway, we need to get a kettle on. There's a little chuck box again, another one made by Marty. Bosh, but no, Al, you just um, splashed it out, sir, and you got a nice little Oz tent there. 
like I say, bought sort of that bit, and then the lads, Tony's had the sides he uh, wasn't using, so a dibble was done and all that, ladies and gents. Gary RGJ, which is nice to, to see him. Uh, Dean, I'll show you in a minute, and Gary's got his camp the back behind. Just trying to get out of the wind. Oh, the wind. And some of these poncho sounds all oh, very nice. There we go, just a like little kit sales, poncho sales there. Um, that's a made, uh, pouch made by Dean. I only just got hold of that, ladies and gents, and inside here. That noise you can hear. Let me kill off here to turn off. Um, himself. I don't want to do this one handed. Nice little spider cone knife, like, and you know how much they cost, and he's just uh, give Marty Cup 30 quid for that. And Dean's gone, oh, got a little patch out of it. So, yeah, nice. I've really, because of the prices of them, I've never really done too much on the spider cones or bought too much of them. But they are lovely knives. Um, I still reckon they're, for what they are, they're too expensive, but you know, when you're going to get one, right, Bosch, 30 quid, this one gives you a lovely handmade leather pouch for it. This is why we come for you know, friendship boy prices, ladies and gents. But there you go. Oh, there's me brew or me eagle kettle. Oh, yeah. And there it is, my humble abode, because I forgot me, I forgot me poles. <laughs> so I'm, I'm the only one here. Like, I'm proper tight wadding it this weekend, and I, I am proper slumming it this weekend. <laughs> I'll not forget my poles again. But that's been alright. I call in now, I have a little kip, got a little mattress in there. Pull my sleeping bag over me like a quilt and then bosh, I'm away for about eight to ten hours. I only wake up for a waz. Yeah, they're outside like yeah. Yeah, Nice bread rolls there, boy. Nice bit of bread there, mate. Yeah. And that's like the new tin you had off um, Marty, uh, yeah. Dean, yeah. Dean, yeah. Yeah, that's what I bought it for, to yeah. go in the oven. Bosh. So. Yeah, nice one, mate. Bosh. Bread, bread in the middle of a filter. Oh. Fanny Craddock would like to see that, wouldn't she? Oh yeah, I'll tell you what, that was, uh, that's Cole's cake, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Cole's mum made this cake. Oh, yeah, yeah, so we'll just, have some of that in a cup of tea in a went, minute. It went down, it didn't last long down here. Huh? Thank you very much, Cole's mum. Very nice, very nice. I like that little setup there, mate. But I think we talked about that, mate. It's very nice, very adaptable, so, isn't it? Bosh. Very nice. But, oh, well, bread. Bread rolls for your tea, so cooked in the field. Yeah, no, that's going to be. Uh, I don't know, I'll have it later. A few girlies could take lessons from you. <laughs> I'm going to go. Right, ladies and gents, hopefully the wind will keep, keep down for a bit. Uh, Alan's legendary, now legendary, Cosa Nostra meatballs. Oh, <laughs> no, they're bang on it, sir, aren't they? Oh. Even at work, all the they, they cleared that no, big plate of them that you yeah. did for them. Yeah, I went in there, there was half a meatball there. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, so we've got to capture them, so they are, they are a bit legendary, so aren't they? Yeah. It was me that named them, cost, they're, they're godfather meatballs, aren't they? So. Uh, to you, yeah. Yeah, they are, no, they are, sir. Boss, they're very nice, sir. <laughs> but you get a lot of godfather films, and somebody does a hit on somebody, and then, like, they all go around some, the, the, the godfather's house and protect them and that. And yeah. There's always some little, like, little, well, I was going to say, little fat bloke in the corner cooking up some. Some spaghetti and all that sort of stuff, aren't they? Yeah. What's the real, all the stuff you do, meatballs and that? Very nice, sir. Uh. Mm, very nice. Oh. oh, ladies and gents, just to show you a miracle. Oh, a short time later, oh, Costa Nostra meatballs, and I'm gonna give a cookout for the lads, ladies. Oh, eat them, mate. <laughs> oh. That, get, get in my belly. Very nice. Oh. Right, ladies and gents, well, oh, it's been a brilliant weekend, and on these ones I tend not to do too much filming, uh, just because uh, it's been great to see all the guys. Um, this is the horrible bit where we're packing up now. Um, I had my little failing there with me uh, swag, but I managed to get four good nights sleep, and uh, we're just p packing up now and making... Um, Plans to get home and have a shower and a poo and stuff, whatever you do, you know. Um, so, ladies and gents, uh, I, I've no idea what I've got on film, to be honest. Just pulled the camera out as and when. And uh, if the wind's not too noisy, I will upload it. But it's nice to see people I haven't seen for a while. Ollie and a few others. Gary RGJ, he's, he's popped down. Um, Simon. Um, 
some Glasgow and that. Uh, I literally found out he only lived 15 minutes away, not even that. But I always thought he lived in Cornwall. Um, Carl's nice to see him. I mentioned in dispatches for Carl's mum's cake, homemade cake. It was delicious. And he got put on the tailboard. And once somebody went, oh, that's nice. Bosh, there was a stampede for the cake. No, I mentioned in dispatches, Carl's mum. Bosh, nice bit of Dundee cake that was. Oh, see you, shovel, sir. I've got to wait till the old boy's finished. Oh. Sorry, Connor, don't wait for me, mate. No. Nice to see you. See you, see you. Right, anyway, uh, yeah, nice to see Marty Cuff and that. Um, Bosh, oh, she's getting on a bit. <laughs> a proper, it, I said to him, he needed to get your money back. What for? Went, well, that bleep you sleep you had last night, yeah, it didn't work, mate. <laughs> he says, I, I remember now why I didn't start coming out with you, C's. <laughs> I won't use that word. But Bosch, and obviously nice to see Dean, the posh bloke. And uh, Bosch, so, yep, yeah, all we're doing now is um, filling up the motor, and we're gonna we're gonna be away, ladies and gents. So take care, and uh, if you watch this far, thanks a lot. Take care.